What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping on to that rank double ladder for Series 8. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves an absolute banger of a video today. We got ourselves a Life Orb Groudon team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across this channel. But yeah, this video or this team, this Pokemon, whatever you want to call it, is long overdue. I really wanted to do this Pokemon sooner, but I figured since I did a Ho-Oh drought team, I figured I wanted to do back-to-back -back drought teams or drought teams in like the same week. So I was like, let me give it some time, throw it back a little bit, and then get rolling with it later. But regardless, we're here now showing off Groudon. He's one of my favorite legendaries. He's such a cool Pokemon. I feel like all the Gen 3 legendaries or the main ones for Kwasi, Kyrie, and Groudon are so cool in my opinion. They are all just really, really dope looking and they have some cool typings on them as well. But starting off in that top left corner, we got ourselves Grimmsnarl with that Prankster ability and that full incense. We also have Reflect, Trick, Fake Out for Flinches, and Spirit Break for special attack drops. And that's our stab hitting move. But we can also trick Pokemon, take their item, and make them a lot slower with giving them our full incense. Right next to him, we got Rotom Heat with Electric Fire Typing, Thunderbolt, Overheat, Will-O-Wisp for Physical Attackers, and Nasty Plot to set up. We also have the Citrus Spray to give us a little bit more HP when we uh, drop below half health. Yeah, my face cam, we got Heatran. Heatran's over here with Flash Fire, Shookaberry, Heat Wave, Flash Cannon, Earth Power, and Protect. And he's going to be able to thrive in the drought as he's going to be able to do more damage because he is fire typing. And he's also going to be able to protect our Venusaur in case we have a Venusaur out there and someone wants to go for a fire move and we can make a hard read, swap into Heatran, have that Flash Fire trigger, take no damage, and waste one of their turns. Right next to Heatran, we got the one and only Groudon, the Pokemon we were trying to show off. Life Orb with the Drought so we can set the sun once we get into battle. We have his stab move, which is Precipice Blades with Fire Punch. Not even stab. I wish this guy was ground and fire, but he's just ground. But So Precipice Blades for uh, our stab move. Fire Punch for coverage, and it will do more damage in the Drought. Protect and Heavy Slam for another coverage move right there. Bottom left corner is going to be Chlorophyll Venusaur with that Focus Ash. Doubles its speed in the Drought. Very, very strong. We have uh, Sludge Bomb, Earth Power, Sleep Powder, and Giga Drain, a fairly normal moveset for a Venusaur. And then our final Pokemon is going to be Regilecki, Electric type mainly, and then Protect, Thunderbolt, Electro Web to slow down, and Volt Switch as his final move. Guys, if you want to try out the team for yourself, the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked up ladder and try to get some wins with this Drought Groudon team. So we are actually coming to a close with playing all the Series 8 Pokemon. We have a few more left. I know I still need a Sun and Moon Legendaries, Necrozma, and like Kyrim and all that good stuff. But we are actually almost there. We have like maybe like seven more videos at most. I, I haven't counted in a little bit. But we've been rocking out with them. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying all the content. We're, we're hopping into battle number one. Going up against a Zassian team over here with Regilecki, Thunderous, Cinderace, Storm Drink Astron, and Grimmsnarl. Okay, so we don't have to worry about the Storm Drink Astron. There's not a chance that thing comes in. That'd be nuts if he does. Um, he's probably going to bring Zassium for sure. Maybe lead the Regilecki. He does have, a uh, Thunderous. He does have Thunderous. I kind of just want to get straight into the Drought. I think that's a, that's a fine play to do, right? Get straight into that Drought. Bring Heatran in the back just in case he, he rolls Cinderace. Right, I think we're fine with that. I will outspeed a Cinderace, so I could actually put it to sleep. That is an option, unless he goes for Tailwind, but we should be able to outspeed him too, so I can definitely put him to sleep. We're going to bring Heatran, and then in the final spot, do I go Regilecki? Either Regilecki or Rotom. I think it really doesn't matter. Hmm. Who, who do I think would be a little bit better? Probably Rotom. He has two strong, actually three physical attackers, so I'd rather get Rotom in here because I have the burn for the Will-O-Wisp uh, move. He has a Zacian, he has a uh, Thunderous, and he has a Cinderace. Which I believe we can burn Cinderace if it changes, because it's definitely Liberia. Like, why wouldn't you be rocking out Liberia if you're bringing Cinderace into a, a battle? But yeah, I'm actually really excited to play this ground team. Hopefully, we can get at least two wins with it. Three would be ideal. You guys already know the deal. We look for perfect records all the time. Let's see what he does. Let's see who he leads. Is he going to lead the Cinderace? I can see it happening. He's going to lead Regilecki and Grimstone. So he's probably going to try to trick me. Maybe set up some screens, something along those lines. Uh, that's totally fine. Uh, do I put him to sleep? How do I roll? Do I just roll into Precip uh, Precipice Blades? I have trouble saying that word. Precipice, right? That, that's, that's how you pronounce it, I believe. But I could roll into that. It is super effective up against that Regilecki, but he could swap into... Uh, he could swap into... What's it called? Thunder. So in that case, I'm just going to drop a Fire Punch here. I might just Sludge Bomb over onto that uh, Grimstone. I might just Sludge Bomb over onto him. Might trick me, and we'll see how that rolls out. Let's see what. Let's just see what happens. There's no way he's gonna Dynamax. He's gonna use a Protect on Regilecki. That's totally fine. I was dropping a Fire Punch into it anyway. And what are you gonna do with him? He's gonna send a Trick over onto my Venusaur or my Groudon. I'd rather be my Venusaur. Let's see what he does. Switch items with Target. Venusaur. Okay, he gets my Focus Sash. That's totally fine. Now, now I'm super slow. I might just Dynamax my boy right now. 
I might just Dynamax my uh, my Groudon here. But so Dynamax the Groudon, do I protect? I could Heavy Slam. I could drop a Fire Punch. He is going to get another first turn priority, so I am going to actually protect my Groudon this turn. And then I think I just roll into a uh, another Sludge Bomb. I think it would be the play. I could go Giga Drain because I might take some damage. Hmm. I can totally see him swapping. Actually, let's up. Let's pose a threat here. Let's pose a threat by actually dropping another Fire Punch into the Regilecki slot. You give me no reason not to. I really don't want to Dynamax just yet. I'd rather wait it and see what happens here. He might set up a screen. Yeah, he's going to set up a screen here. And we are going to be able to pick up this double kill. No Reflect, which will be nice. Right, like he's going to go for a Thunderbolt over onto Venusaur. Venusaur's going to be able to eat that up, no problem. And good thing I did swap into my, my Fire Punch. Get some nice damage out of here. I could have, I should have just dropped the Precipice Blades, but that, that does work. That does work. Fire Punch does work regardless. Which is awesome. We have our Life Orb still, and we are physical attacking. So I'm probably going to Dynamax him, as they do have a Light Screen up. So let's roll into the crowd on, and I could drop a Sleep Power on whoever I want. I know I'm probably going to go with Lance because of my item. But that's totally fine. We didn't end up Dynamaxing Venusaur because I thought he was going to roll into the trick. going to show his last two Pokemon, which is dope. It's going to be uh, Thunderous. And it's going to be Cinderace. Gastrodon? What did I say? I said, yo, why would this guy bring Gastrodon? Uh, do I even Dynamax Groudon now? Let's save it for Heatran. I could totally save it for Heatran. I mean, that's Electric type. He has Electric and Flying, which we should be able to eat up flying. I just save it for Heatran, you know? I think we're thriving here. I really do think we're thriving here. Drop another Fire Punch. Over on to you. Drop a big old Giga Drain on to you. I'm like, what we're saying? Does this guy go cancel battle? He's gonna Dynamax. I'm saving my Dynamax. You give me no reason not to. I just feel like I have to. I'm not gonna get stab damage off. I'm just like, yo, there's really no point in doing this. I'd rather wait to get the Heat Train out there, get a Stab Max player rolling, and go from there. I'd rather Dynamax the Heat Train over the, uh, what's it called? Over the Groudon right now in this in this situation. Most other games I would Dynamax that Groudon. He's gonna end up protecting you. That's totally fine. Hope I can get off a nice little fire punch onto the Thunderous. Can this actually burn? It might be able to. Max Air is gonna come in here, he's gonna boost his speed. That's totally fine. Venusaur goes down. I'm not too worried. I'm really not too worried. I have I have a steel type coming out. I have a steel type coming out here. Steel and fire in the drought. Gonna be buzzing here. Can fire punch get burned? I feel I think it can. I think each of the punches can get their uh their Status condition. So Ice Punch can freeze, this one can burn, and the other one, and Thunder Punch can paralyze. I would actually have to look into the move, but we're gonna bring out Heatran. Put Dynamax my boy right here. Be able to drop my Max Flare over on you, and I'm gonna suffice Blades over onto the uh, the Gastro slot. Get my boy out here. Get my boy out here, but we had a very, very strong start here. Let me see this. Can this burn? Yes, it can. Uh, I thought it would. I thought it would, but I think this is Groudon's. Uh, Signature move right here. These are attacks opposed in Pokemon by manifesting the power of the land and a fearsome blades of stone. That sounds nasty, and it does double hit. I'm gonna go into that. I'm gonna Dynamax it, and I'm gonna drop a Max Flare over onto big old Thunderous here. So let's get him buzzing here. Let's get him buzzing. But yeah, we really did start that match off really, really well by not Dynamaxing that Venusaur and uh, just dropping a Fire Punch just in case he swapped out. But he kind of played it a little off. I feel like our lead kind of had it. In the bag, like our lead was was a nice start compared to his lead. He, he actually played it very very badly. Knowing Venusaur's poison type, you're gonna go in the Grim Snarl, and then knowing Groudon is ground. Like come on, he's gonna drop a knuckle here. I uh, should be able to eat up a knuckle all day. Yeah, not sad. He's gonna get attack boost, and that should be game. That should be game because Gastron is not gonna be able to take me out, especially with this drought coming here. Any special attacking so that attack boost is nothing for him. Surprise blades come out. Does not affect Thunderous, but it is going to drop off onto the uh, Gastrodon. Do big damage. Big, big damage. HP boost it, and the barrier's going to pop, but Thunderous is going to drop here. That's a fact. In this drought, stab. He's gone. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Get this dude gone. Get this dude gone. This match is a wrap. This match is a wrap. But what was he doing Bring Gastron? Like, I said that in the beginning. I said that in the beginning. Why would he bring Gastron? Like, I get it's an all-fire team. I totally get that. But Drought's going to be out. I have Venusaur, which is totally going to outspeed it. We're just rocking out. We're just totally rocking out here. It was pretty simple. It was a pretty simple victory. Like, I said that right in the beginning. I was like, he's kind of he's going to be dumb to bring Gastron. It's just, it's just legit just a waste of a spot. It really is. 
Now I'm going to Quake, and I am going to drop for Surprise Blaze, but he's probably going to cancel the battle. Yep, there it is. Wanted to get this video started. We can hop to our second battle and look to get a win streak rolling. Let's try to go back to back here in battle number two. This guy has a Ho-Oh team, so he's going to thrive in the drought, but then he has other Pokemon that do not really thrive in it, so I'm kind of fine with it. That rhyme, that rhyme. That really, that was pretty funny, but this guy also has Spectre, Grimmsnarl, Metagross, Rollaboom, and Rotom Wash. He's probably going to bring that Rotom Wash. Um, he does have Levitate, so my Groudon cannot hit that thing. He has the Rillaboom. I might not see him bringing Rillaboom or Metagross. He might go Ho-Oh, Grimmsnarl, Spectre, and Rotom Wash. He might lead the Grimmsnarl and Spectre. It's not bad. It really isn't bad. I could go into my, uh, my Drought and my Venusaur if I really want to. Then he might lead Ho-Oh. In that case, that kind of stinks. I kind of want to lead Regilecki into, uh, Grimmsnarl, just in case he does lead ho and then bring the Groudon combo in the back. Hmm. That would be the play, right? Or do it instead of Regilecki, we could uh, withdraw and bring Rotom Heat. Actually, I wouldn't want him in the front, so I gotta withdraw all these Pokemon. Come on, man. I hate when it does that. I think Rotom would be better in case he leads, say, Metagross. Say he, say, say he ends up bringing Metagross. Right? Say he ends up bringing Metagross. I think we, we're fine with it. I can burn it. That's why I have the Will-O-Wisp. Or if... Say he leads to Ho Oh, I can maybe read a swap, get an anti spot going, and go from there. Yeah, we're not gonna lead the drop boys, because I think he's gonna bring out Spectre and maybe just start the special attack dropping. But that's what's really good about having the ground on and the Venusaur, is that they're both one special and one physical. So they can't just like snarl and take out the whole squad. But he does end up leading the Ho Oh, which is lovely. Maybe I should have led the Regilecki. Regilecki does sound a little bit better here, doesn't it? Regilecki does sound a little bit better. He might protect. I am going to fake out on the Ho Oh. Or I'm going to actually fake out the Rotom. The Rotom cannot do anything. And I am going to uh, drop a T-Bolt onto the Ho-Oh slot. Might swap. I can definitely see him swapping. But so we're going to get this fake out off. And then I'll be able to trick next turn. I don't see him Dynamax and Rotom right now. Especially this early. I mean, he could. That, that is a viable option. But I just don't see him doing it, right? Yeah, see, now. Okay, so fake out's going to drop here. I'm going to be able to do that. And Sacred Fire's going to come out here over onto Grimmsnarl. Grimmsnarl's going to be able to eat all day. And he's going to get off a of burn. He's gonna get off a of burn, which is which is fine. I'm not using him really to hit too hard. T Bolt's gonna come out here, get a nice big stab, electric move over onto the Soho, -Oh, and do some big damage. Okay, we get a crit too. Woo! Love save. If I, actually, if I would have led Regilecki, that would have came, which would have been lovely. But now I'm just going to trick. I'm going to take Rotom's item, and then I am just going to drop another T Bolt. We might swap. I think I just drop another T Bolt here. Pose that threat in case he swaps. Let's do something. He is going to swap. I should have set up a plot. I could have plot it. He's going to go in the real boom. Maybe we can get a paralyze. Do something with that. Imagine I would have dropped an overheat. Oh, I do have an overheat, so. Let's see what item we're going to get from Rotom. I'm going to take his item before we do actually go out. Because he can take us out fairly easily. Which we'll probably just do with the Grace Guy next turn. And I will be able to set up a reflect next turn as well. Because I this Rotom's got to be dropping a hydro pump or something onto my Rotom. We're going to take his uh, Citrus Berry, which is huge. And I get to eat it right away. ooh -wee, Give me that. I just took his snack, yo. I was like, I'm like a bully from high school. Or like middle school. Just like, yeah, yo, give me that. Oh, yo, you crazy. You crazy. This dude's setting up something. I don't like. He does have the full incense, which is very nice for us. Thunderbolts can come out here. He's probably going to try to drop a fake out. That's exactly what he's going to do. He's going to fake out. I don't know if he's going to Dynamax now with that item. Is he going to Dynamax now with that item? Actually, instead of setting up a Reflect... I think we just start dropping that thing's attack. I think that's a better play. And I do drop an overheat. He's gonna fake me out, but I am gonna drop an overheat here. Is he gonna Dynamax? He might fake out and then uh, try to take me out and take weather control. And then I would just get out Venusaur and be able to outspeed him all day and potentially Dynamax him and roll from there. But I don't know if he's gonna Dynamax. It was a nice nasty plot set up. I could have done the same, but he is now the slowest on the field. If he fakes me out, either way, I think he fakes out the uh, the Rotom, and I'm going to get a special attack drop, making that thing only plus one, and then maybe next turn hit it again, making it only up, or even it out, or maybe set up a reflect. We'll see what's going on. We'll see his play. We'll see his play. But we did take that berry, and now I feel like we can eat up a Grassy Glide, which is nice. He is going to withdraw the real boom, go back out in the ho oh probably. He's going to go Spectre, which I'm totally fine with. We're dropping Overheat. We can do a decent amount of damage on this thing. And he is going to end up Dynamax. Okay, I really do like this turn. I really do like this turn. 
considering Rotom Wash is gonna go the last. So we can get it to we can drop a special attack a little bit. Then we get off an overheat before my Rotom goes out. And then we get out Venusaur, we Dynamax him, we swap it to the ground up, and we're thriving from there. Right? Kinda like that. Overheat comes out. Think on that thing. Do big old damage on that. Our special attacks drop, and it's fine. We're gonna go down. We might as well do big damage. Spear breaks can come out. Drop that thing. They say, hey, there you go. Drop your special attack a little bit. He's gonna go for a geyser. That's totally fine. Alright, beautiful. Our real time's dead. Again, I, I don't need him. I really don't need him. Okay, play is gonna be get. Do I get Drought out here? No, we get Venus right out here, and then we swap it to the Drought onto the Grimstorm slot. Just so we're able to outspeed that thing. Drop a G Max Vine Lash, which we will get the Grassy Surge boost as well. So thank you, Roll Boom, for that one. And then we'll roll from there. Then we will roll from there. Get out my bean. And now we're ready to play. Good thing I did bring this thing in the back end. He's going to be slow, so I can see him guarding, but I really don't want to play that game. I really don't want to play that game. I really don't want to play that game where, I, oh, I'm going to make a read, and if it doesn't work out, then I potentially can lose this match. So I'm just going to drop a giant G-Max Vine Lash. Change his weather up. Tell him to knock it off. Because if he doesn't protect and I don't go for him, then he's going to be able to do a decent amount of damage on whatever slot he wants to shoot. And he's going to get weather control. So I might as well just post this threat. Which, I re in my opinion, I really do think he's going to guard, but the simple plays will win you the Pokemon match. So even if he does guard, we're, st I, we're still fine. We are still fine. So I'd rather just make the simple play and uh, try to get this victory for you guys. Venus was going to Dynamax to get him buzzing in the sun. And then thank you for setting up the surge, my dude. Just helping out my, my Venus over here. He's gonna guard. They I just saw that one coming. Max Vine Lash gonna do nothing. And this thing might snarl up on me. Might snarl up on me. He's gonna snarl. I still see Vine Lash doing a lot of damage. I still see Vine Lash doing a heckin' amount of damage. A big old boppo of damage. And then I just drop. Do I drop a. Yeah, let's just go for Sipice Blades in case he swaps. We'll be able to double through. Which will be lovely. Does have grassy glide. What do I just drop a fire punch? In case he swaps the spec and there's no way he swaps the spot spectre. I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna drop another vine lash. Let's get after it. What you want, Rotom? What you want? He's gonna withdraw the Rotom. That's fine by me. He's gonna get out real boom. So I am gonna be able to hit it hard with suffice blades. He's gonna be able to snarl me up again, and I am gonna start having that uh that what's called damage go through. The vine lash damage. The Spectre Air is, is going to go down here. It's nice. I can protect Groudon next turn. Which I might do. Because he can Grass Glide on me. And he could fake out. Uh, Spectre Air is going to go for... Oh, yo, you're Willow Whispering. This one's actually going to be closer than I thought. It's going to be real close. Suffice to play. He's coming in. Real Boom avoids. Okay, cool. I want to hit Spectre Air more than Real Boom. And this KO him. It does. It does end up picking up the KO, which is lovely. Uh, he can't fake me out. Or he can't Grassy Glide. Uh, do I think he's going to fake me out? What do I think he's really going to do? I might protect that Rotom now. But I feel like I get a ooze. Do I ooze over onto the Real Boom slot? I feel like I protect the... What's it called? I feel like I protect the ground on here to waste a turn. I feel like I have to protect the, uh, the ground on here. Waste a turn. Get my special attack. Back to normal. Oh, he still has Ho-Oh. Oh, oh that's a little weird. He still has Ho-Oh. Oh, and this thing's legit. Ooh, that's fancy. Actually, yeah, we're not going to protect you then. I'm just going to get after you. I'm going to boost my boost my attack again. I might double up in the Roll Boom. There's no way Roll Boom protects. I got to actually get after his Ho-Oh. I'm going to double up in the Ho-Oh slot. The Fire Punch. Or do I just heavy slam? Oh, that fire punch. Double up into him. Just ooze over onto it. I need to get this Ho-Oh going. Because he's going to take on my Venusaur. I totally forgot about this Pokemon. He's going to withdraw Ho-Oh. Oh, you crazy, dude. You crazy. You're going to get Rotom back out here. And I wonder what What's Called is doing. He's going to go for that Grass Guide. I knew it. I should have maybe protected him. Now I wish that my fire punch would have slid over to the other slot. Ooze is going to come out here. Gonna be lovely. Over on to the Rotom. How much damage are you doing? Mm. Mm. I don't know about this one, guys. I do not know. He's gonna be able to Grassy Glide, pick up the KO, 
Um, I could. This is gonna be real close. Fire punch will come through. I went for that roll boom. I don't know if that roll boom would have been able to eat it. It would have been close, but we're dead. We are dead. Actually, hold up. Hold up. Vine lash coming down here. Next vine lash should be able to take that out, which is lovely. I'm gonna eat up this burn now. After that, after that. Let's see what happens. Eat it. Yes, we survive on one. So the thing is, I can protect here. He knows I'm gonna go down to uh, burn damage. So he might just double up into me. I really do want to protect, but. I think I just dropped a fire punch because I'm dead either way. I dropped a sludge bomb. Do I have another turn for the vine lash? I should, right? I should have another turn for the vine lash. I do. The so Rotom's gonna go down to the vine lash. Sludge bomb's gonna come out here. I'm gonna do that. Sludge bomb comes out. Can we pick up the KO with this? We don't. Give me the poison. They're both gonna go down the vine lash. Oh, fire punch comes out before you. You didn't glide? You didn't grassy glide? Do you think I was protecting? Woo! Did you think I was protecting? Comes to T bolt. As long as we're not paralyzed, we should be thriving pretty well here. No paralyzed. He's gonna go down to the vine lash. All right? Show it to me. Get him out of here. E. Oh, dude, I don't like that one bit. I don't like that one bit. We have Grimstorm here, which I am going to fake out the. Uh, I'm gonna fake out the ho oh. -Oh. I'm gonna double up into the ho -oh slot. I think I have to, right? I think I have to. Double up in the ho -oh slot. You out. Bang. I'll put him asleep. I don't think he protects. I think he goes for a straight sacred fire, right? I'm not worried about the road time. I really am not. There's really no point in messing with it. I'm only worried about this ho-oh. Dude, this battle is actually coming down to the wire. I thought I totally forgot about the ho-oh, and I thought it was a lot closer. He ends up protecting, which is smart. Okay, uh... Ho-oh protects. Pick outs comes out. Do I have a th one more turn into drought? I might. Actually, I might not. It's kind of scary. We go for Thunderbolt over on the who. Hear me? Yep, Grimstar will eat, though, which is lovely. Our sunlight fades, so now ho-oh is faster than us. Kind of scary. Vine Lash is going to take out the Rotom. It's going to do a little bit of damage over on the Ho-Ho. -Oh. I feel like we should get one shot off on this thing. With the, what's it called? I can't think it's item. What is this item? Is it leftovers? I am curious to what this item is. I had like Alice Switch or something. Is this thing physical attacking? I don't think it is. I feel like we don't really do much. I feel like I have to maybe go for this. I mean, this would drop its attack. I wish I had protect on this thing. We go for a sleep. Do I go for the sleep powder or do I go for the sled drum? Hmm. We go for that sleep. Let's try to put this thing to sleep and finish off this battle. See what he does. Take your fire can come out here. It'll chill on me, man. Eat it up. No, Veen. Venus or no. Okay. Come on, Grimmy. This one's over, dude. Oh, he's going to clutch it up, man, with that regenerator. Coming in with more health each time. Yeah, there's no way we're killing this thing. Solid second battle, though. Really good second battle. I'll give it to him. I totally forgot about the ho -Oh. I thought we were looking really, really good in this match. He protected at the right times as well. But I'm really glad we got to show off this battle here, too. I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it. There's no point. It's over with. It's over, Jeans. You lost this one. One and one, we can hop into our third and final battle and look for a winning record for today's video. Third and final battle coming at you guys, and we got ourselves a perfect battle to finish off today's video. We got a Groudon versus Kai Ogre battle right here. Hopefully, we can end up picking up the win. We are definitely at a disadvantage, but hopefully, we can figure out a way and get it for you guys. But this guy has Zapdos alongside with Wimscott, Kai Ogre his main Pokemon, Metagross, Incineroar, and Kartana. Okay. Um, I don't see him bringing that Metagross. I see him bringing that Wimscott, maybe setting up a Tailwind and rolling with Kai Ogre. I'm not going to lead the Groudon. I am going to lead the Venusaur, though. Actually, I could lead Regilecki and Grimstarl. If I did that last game, that would have been big. I kind of want to do that. Lead them two and bring Groudon and Venusaur in the back. Same thing, just without uh, Rotom here. Um, I think we're fine with that. I think we are looking pretty good with that. And then we have Groudon in the back, just so we can have that weather control. So if he leads to Kyogre, I can just swap straight in and get after it. Or I can just fake it out so it's not able to get off a of Water Spout. 
because usually Kyogre's don't Dynamax until like later. Like if they have a chance to go for a Water Spout and a Tailwind, they will go for that. But I can fake it out and get after it with the Regilecki. Let's just see who he leads. Does he lead the Kyogre? He might not. He might be thinking the same thing as me. He does not. He's going to go uh, Zapdos into Wimstop. Okay. That's fine by me. I'm going to trick onto the uh, the Zapdos, take its item. And then I could set up a Reflect. But that will be later. Where do I just Electro Web this turn? Slow, slow them both down. I could fake out onto him. But I fake out on the Wimps Cost so he doesn't get off the Tailwind. I think that's going to be play. Fake out onto you. Because uh, Zapdos could Dynamax. But I, I potentially could have Volt Switch here. I could have Volt Switch. I'd rather slow down that Zapdos. That's not really doing anything. And then get off a Reflect next turn or Trick next turn. Depending on what I want to do. Maybe he swaps. Maybe I can take an item later. Maybe on to Kyogre if he does swap. But I'm going to just try to wait him out on the Weather War. It is going to be a Weather War. He's definitely got Kyogre in the back. There's no doubt in my mind. Big guy's going to come out here. Bop. Gets clapped up here. You're not setting up anything right now. Going to be able to drop an Electro Web. Slow you down. Zapdos and Wimscott as well. And what is he going to go for? I might set up a Reflect next turn over the Trick and save my, my Trick item. Thunder's gonna come out. Ooh, Thunder's coming out here. And he does land it, which is pretty cool. So he's gonna be able to do that, and he's gonna get the para. Uh, do I get off the Reflect, or do I take the item? He's Life Orb. I think I'd rather get off that Reflect and Volt Switch out. Actually, I could, uh, T-Bolt. That should pick up that KO, right? T-Bolt should be able to pick up KO easily on him. And then I'm just going to reflect here. I am going to reflect. He might Moon Blast me, but I can see him setting up a Tailwind as well. As long as I'm not paralyzed, we should be fine. Guy outspeed. He is going to withdraw the Zapdos, which is totally fine. So good thing I dropped this reflect, and he's going to send out who? Let's send out Cartana. Okay, maybe we can get a paralyze on that. And reflect is coming out here, and then I can trick it too. The Tailwind's popping. That's fine by me. So he's going to look to get that Beast Boost, all that good stuff. Maybe we can get a Paral on this thing. Reflect setting up. Give me the Paralyze. Show me the Paralyze, baby. There's my T-Bolt. Show me the Paralyze. Give it to me. He got one, I'll get one. It's the rules. What? I thought that was the rules, man. <laughs> uh, I can Volt Switch. That might just do. You know, I'm going to slow him down. Why not? Why not slow him down? Then the trick over on the U. Just take that item. Give him the full incense. So that Cartana's not, not a speedy little booger. And I can take whatever he has. We're kind of just pestering around doing a lot, doing a uh, half damage on everybody besides his last mod. And now it's, I'm starting to think maybe it's not Kyogre. Maybe it's not Kyogre. I'm going to trick. I think he does have a Tailwind set up. We're just kind of waiting this one out. I'm going to say, hey, yo, give me that item, baby. We're going to obtain its Assault Vest. Sacred Sword's going to come out here. We do eat. Is he going to go for a Moon Blast? We might. Can we, can we KO this thing with an E-Web now? Now it's, now it's not a Soul Vest No. We are dropping his speed. So we totally outspeed that thing now. Moonblast coming through. That's going to KO Grimmy. Oh, no. You're going after him. He's chilling to eat up. Especially like he does not eat. Just do not let. Um, I'm going to get out Venusaur now. I'm Sash. I'm Sash. And the thing is, if I pick up a KO here, he's going to have to go back out in the Zapdos. They are pretty slow. Let's just Dynamax. Or I can go for a Sludge Bomb here. Spirit Break. Hmm. What do I do here? I feel like I just do this. As much as I want to go for a Sludge Bomb, I feel like I have to get rid of you with an Earth Power. And just Spirit Break over onto him. Maybe pick up a KO like that. Let's see what he does. There's no way he swaps back into the Zapdos, thinking I'm, or knowing I'm going to go for the Earth Power. That would be a crazy call. That would be a crazy call. But again, I'm trying to wait out this weather. War. I really am. I do have Speed Advance looking pretty good on my side. Surprisingly, Moon Blast goes before my Grim Snarl. That is a surprise to me. It really is. Considering he's minus two on speed. Earth Power comes out. Should be able to pick up the KO here, and he's going to win this weather war. He is going to win this weather war, but the thing is, I really don't need, I kind of, I'm kind of fine with it now that I got a, a boy out here, Venusaur. Let's see. He's got another crowd on the last mon, and who's he going to send out? Probably Zapdos, yep, and he's going to swap with the Kyogre next turn. 
Which is totally fine because I'm gonna drop a vine lash over in that slot. Right, he swaps Kyogre for that, right? I'm gonna drop a vine lash over on that slot. Get it, or I can just ooze. I'd rather just drop a vine lash over on this slot. In case he does swap Kyogre in for there. Or who would he swap Kyogre at? If he if he is rolling Kyogre, who do I think he's gonna swap him in for? It would be the Zapdos, right? Maybe not. Might be the Wormscott. Him trying to get off another shot on me with the air. No, I might just go like this. I can guess myself, go here, and then drop a Fire Punch over onto the slot. I should drop the... Let's see what he does. Let's see. Let me just see. He is going to end up Dynamaxing the bird. He's going to end up Dynamaxing the bird. But I think he is going to swap the Kyogre into that left slot. I really do. So, that's lovely. Hopefully he does swap it into that slot. I would really like that. I should have put that to sleep. I could have put the Zapdos to sleep. Easy. Now let's see what he does. Actually, he's not swapping because swaps would have came out before. So we're going to be able to take out the Wind's Cut, I believe, with this move. And we're going to be able to get off a Fire Punch. If I can just pull off a burn here, it's going to be GG. But he's going to try to Airstream me and take speed. Which, uh, which could work pretty well. The Airstream's going to do a decent amount of damage. He is a which I don't like. But I am going to be able to get off a Fire Punch on it, which is huge. I'll be hands and come out here. Again, we're sashed. We are sashed. We do get to eat. We do get to eat up all day. But there's my sash coming to clutch. Vine Lash. Vine Lash damage and Fire Punch. Can I pick up the KO? I'm thinking it's going to be close. Oh, but the thing is. Oh, this is scaring me. He has Kyogre in the back. He has Kyogre in the back. Then in that case, he might be able to pick up a double kill because he's gonna outspeed me. Getting trapped. Come on, fire punch and vine lash. I need a KO here. Come on, fire punch. Big damage. Vine lash should be able to take that out. That's gonna be close. Come on, vine lash. Doom dirty. No! What you mean? Oh, is it Kyogre? Is it Kyogre? It's Kyogre. We lost this one. Don't be Kyogre! No! <laughs> Dang, dude, Kyogre can come out of your drizzle. That's gonna be game. He has speed. He has speed on me all day. He has the speed. Let's see something. What's your speed looking at? What's your speed sitting at, buddy? I think Kyogre's faster than 110. And I guess we'll go for a Vine Lash? We know Zapdos is fastest. I cannot go for a Blade. I think go for a punch here. He's on one. Actually, I should have probably went for surprise blades. Airstream's gonna come out here. Go after Groudon. He's gonna go after Groudon. Groudon eats. If Venus were out speeds. If oh no, he's not. Not anymore. We need him to dodge. We need him to dodge. We need Venusaur to dodge. Come on, Venusaur. Not gonna outspeed because of Airstream now. Yo, Bean, dodge this boy. Dodge it. Nah, game over. GG. GG, dude. Kyogre comes out at the perfect time. He outweighted me, and he's end and he ended up being able to get that win. But, yo, we had some good battles today. First battle, we dominated. We played this ground on team very well. Second battle, we uh, had a solid battle. Ended up losing. And same thing with the third battle. Solid battle here. His Kyogre just overpowered our ground on. Very awesome ground on team right here. I'm glad we were able to pick up a win in battle number one and got to show off two very strong battles that we lost in. Even though we lost in them, I still feel like we got to show him off to his fullest potential. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.